Hi, I'm Tate with FixMyOwnAC.com and today's lesson is how to change a run capacitor. So let's, uh, the first thing we always do is make sure to shut the power off to the unit so we don't get electrocuted. Let's do that and then things will quiet down a little bit. Open up the disconnect, there's a little pull out, pull that out, what that does is it disconnects the power from the breaker to the unit. Now we have low voltage going to the unit but we don't have high voltage. So we're going to take our nut driver, we're going to open up the unit. This unit here only has two screws holding the electric panel on. our run capacitor. Our run capacitor is right here. This is a dual run capacitor. It controls the compressor and the condenser fan motor. Right here is the dual run cap and um, just for teaching purposes we're going to assume it's bad. So the first thing you want to do is you want to discharge the run capacitor. And What you do is you take a, a pliers or a screwdriver and you go between common and fan and just touch those two terminals. Now you go between common and herm and touch those two terminals. You want to do that because capacitors hold a charge. It could hold up to 440 volts. It's not enough to kill you, but it's enough to hurt you. So it's very simple. What we do is we take off the uh, two wires that are on common, C. We just take those two off. And we have our new run capacitor. We, snap, we just snap those on common. Very simple. Do this one step at a time and you won't get anything confused. Then we have one that goes to the fan. This brown, this brown wire is your run capacitor for the, fan, for the condenser fan up here on top. I say brown wire, but remember, uh, not everything's the same. Not every manufacturer uses the same color, but nine, nine and a half times out of ten, your run capacitor on a fan motor, the wire is brown. So we hook that to fan. It says right there on the top of the capacitor. Fan, perm, and common. Herm is for hermetic compressor. That's the compressor. The fan obviously is for the fan. And common, that's the wire that comes directly from line two. The only thing we have left is our wire for the compressor. And that's labeled herm. We put that on there. Now we can leave that off to the side. We take our nut driver, loosen up the strap, take the old capacitor out, and put the new capacitor in. Now take that bracket off. Now when you, when you put the new capacitor in, you want to make sure that your bracket doesn't cover the uh, hermetic uh, tolerance of the run capacitor. So we're going to put that in. As soon as I get this screwed in, I'm going to show you something real quick. From, for, uh, it's very important with run capacitors. Okay, if we can get a close-up of this. This run capacitor is a 45-5. That means it's 45 microfarads for the run for the compressor, and it's 5 microfarads for the condenser fan motor. It's very important. You can go up or down 10%. So we can go up to a 50, we can go down to a 40, but it's better to have the proper size run capacitor. Now one thing else you're going to notice on the run capacitor is this one says 440 VAC. Am I holding that in the right spot? 440 VAC. You can go, if, you, if your run capacitor says 370, you can use a 370, you can always go up to a 440. If you have a 440 volt run capacitor, do not go down to a 370. So we sell 440s on our website at fixmyownac.com. So recap, you got common, fan, and herm. What we suggest you do is just take one wire at a time, 
put it in the in the proper spot. Your fan goes, your wire goes to the fan motor. This wire goes to the compressor, and this one goes to line two on the contactor. Very simple. So, uh, like I said, we sell uh, all all kinds of air conditioning parts on my website called FixMyOwnAC.com. And I uh, really appreciate you watching our video today on how to change a run capacity.